This is trailer for Ouija House. Now, if you're gonna tell me that they made a house that's actually a Ouija board, is it for giants? I mean, how does it work, right? This movie sounds familiar. It does sound familiar. I'm not placing it exactly. Hopefully we didn't already see the I bet it's gonna be awesome. Exactly happened at your aunt's house. My cousin's the one that told me about all the witchcraft stuff. Witchcraft? Don't worry, man. Keep Laura's your... ancestors were good. Keep witches. your eye on the road. I told you never to go up there. You have no business going there. Besides, <laughs> oh. she doesn't need to know that we're going there to do witchcraft experiments with our friends. So this is it. Hey, it doesn't look that bad. <laughs> you made it! Oh. Nothing too scary right off the bat. Mm. Have not. The coven used these in their rituals. Their stories about a cult sacrificing babies at this place. Yay! The way this house was built had something to do with the spirit world. Keeping spirits out. More like keeping one in. I found a Ouija board here. We're gonna play it tonight. Toss, you have to get them out of there, you understand? Is there a spirit with us tonight? Yes, there is a spirit. It's too late. We already started playing the game. What? What? That was Deep Wallet. He'll keep you playing the game until everyone dies. <laughs> nice. <laughs> it's fantastic. the walls okay so i guess i knew that this day would come the writing's been on the wall um shit horror movies continue continue to make a butt ton of money looking at you doing house so now everyone's jumping on the bandwagon and even attracting for lack of a better word talent okay maybe not terror Reed, but D. Wallace, certainly. Misha Barton, that's a name known to people. I'm guessing that at this point, their agents are like, hey, horror movies just instantly make $100 million, no matter how god-awful there is. I'll ask you, minus the celebrity, was there anything in that trip? This isn't even minus the celebrities or not. I I'm don't want to see this. Well, that's my point. Even but with the celebrities in it, I still well, don't want to see it. Okay, no, okay, but you and I are kind of the exception in a lot of ways. People do go to movies just because a certain celebrity is in it, you know. Um, you know. I, no, no, I, no, no. Hey, no. Hey, if it's hey. a bad trailer, I won't see it. Okay, but again, you and I are the exception. I'm saying, you know, Jane and Joe Average, they still are suckers, they fall for that stuff. But, okay, so take that away, and you're right. There's nothing in this that strikes any kind of chord of interesting, different, unique. Um, what, what is so funny? What's so funny? I'm just picking apart this poor movie. <laughs> All right. You're, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. I got to get that. Okay. There's, there's no point in ripping it apart. Uh, it just doesn't look good. It just, yeah, on, on no level, it looks good. No. But I fear, and I'm going to throw it out there, that we're going to be seeing a lot more of these. We're going to be seeing a lot of big names being attached to bad horror movies. All in the hopes of making your $100 million on your $5 million budget. And the real sickening part is, they'll probably be successful. So your prediction of awesome was off? Apparently you didn't know I was being a little bit facetious. Oh, was that what it was? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, facetious or not, which is totally not how you say that. Regardless, what did you guys think? Let us know in the comment section below.